Alright, uh, hi guys. I have already made a video on modding a Maverick, but I have, uh, two at this point. No, I'm not making a Manta. Um, those are sort of cool, but not me for Mavericks. So, uh, what I'm doing is showing you how to pet G a Maverick today. Uh, or PETG, as some people would say. Which is, uh, barrel material that you can order from One Man Clan on Nerf Haven. So, what I've already started, this is as far as I am at this point. I have the turret here, which I've opened. I haven't started with the actual gun yet. But, uh, what I've done with the turret, I've sawed off all six barrels. I sawed off one just for experimentation. So, um... Your turret should look like this. I used a Dremel to do that. So once you have your turret sanded, you shouldn't have any of the smaller points as they recline to become smaller. This is the part that houses the large suction part of the uh, stock dart, so it's large enough to fit Pet G, which is what we'll be threading through it. Also, what you need to do is, I didn't realize this at first, but um, take out the air restrictors. And normally, you put these things back on. Don't even need that if you're going to make it pet G barreled. The pet G actually slides in. Well, no, it doesn't slide in. It can be rammed in, but then it's very airtight, which is quite good. So that won't leak at all once it's glued on. So um, this one barrel has been cut and measured. And I'll take a measurement of it for you in just a sec. I'm just showing you how everything fits in. So with just this one barrel, pops up out here. Then you put your lid on. No, it's not a lid. But uh, the top piece of the turret. everything comes in place nicely with the pet G barrel if you see that so as I said it's very airtight and it should be um, close to a hundred percent once it's glued in so what we'll be doing is using electrical tape and wrapping it around the end here so it sits flush with the uh, end of the turret, so it holds it in place. So I'm going to get uh, these other six and then record some more. Alright, everything's been put in place and um, all six barrels have been cut. Slid that piece over. And uh, in case you're actually doing this instead of watching the video, instead of like as well as watching the video, um, which I'm hoping a lot of people do, I'm hoping this video is very helpful then what you don't have to just use pet G you can also use um, 17 30 seconds brass 9 16 brass and possibly even CPVC it's really whatever fits your darts it's just I'm using pet G because it's what I have on me and it fits my darts well I use seven some different kinds of darts but this fits about half the darts I use. Anyway, um, placing the end of the turret on. None of these barrels have been glued in at the moment. This is just test fit, and then I'll be opening it back up again and actually gluing them down so they're near 100% airtight. Oh, excuse me, real quick. Then there were a couple nubs that I had cut that wasn't clean, but now they are. This is why I didn't glue them down the first time. There are barrels extending slightly outward from what I've cut. So those shall be sanded down now, and then I will glue them in place and then get on with the taping if it's even necessary. 
the taping of the barrels, not recording. Alright, so everything's been, uh, I actually didn't even sand the barrels. What I did was use the end of a screwdriver, just pounded them down, because when I opened it up, I realized they weren't down as far as they can go. And after that was done, there really wasn't even room for glue. And they're not going anywhere. They've got a really tight uh, seal on them. So, give me a couple seconds to screw back the turret. And that will be it for the turret. The way I detached the bars so I could actually work with the turret was using needle nose pliers. And it was really easy to get under the bar. So I did not rip the turret off. This will be a half barrel mod. So it won't be a drop clip. Otherwise known as full barrel. We have an airtight Pet G turret to reattach, thread the bar through, hopefully you did not bend it during uh, taking it off. Center it, get the spring that was behind it, place that in, and then glue in the or actually I don't think you even need glue, I think the force of pressure, yes, I'm correct. I would recommend getting a hammer and lightly hammering the end of the ring in place. So now we have our completed Pet G turret. And in order to make the full barrel removal mod. There was a tab here that was preventing it from coming out, which I just simply dremeled off. And that's it for the turret. Adding spring power, or take out the catch first, slowly, because there are uh, two springs that you need to keep in account. The catch spring and the um, actual spring that drives the motor. Right now, when you have the catch spring and the catch handy, I would recommend hot gluing the catch spring to the actual catch because it does not stay on its own outside of the gun, and if you lose it, you have no Maverick. So I do that for pretty much all the guns I modify, just glue it on right when you take it out. So slightly stretched. It'll collapse in, and what you'll do is take one of the air restrictors you're not using and put it behind it. And you have sort of a dead weight. Much harder to compress and much more powerful for the Maverick. Now that that's finished, um, saw off the tab located here using a Dremel as well, this tool. And then your full barrel mod should be complete. There goes the air restrictor backing. Place your turret back in. And don't forget the tip at the end. Always forget that part for some reason. Well, part 12 to begin with. That was a crappiness of the stock. So comes out all the way, auto rotates, sounds quite powerful, let's put that to the test, uh, finding a dirt, and the way I did it, with the full extension, it will no longer take stock darts, but that's very easy to fix, if you would like it to, just don't extend your barrels the full way, got a dart loaded, that was about 25 feet, and it hit the wall, so it shoots over 25 feet, which is quite nice for a Maverick. A well-modded Maverick, 
only ever goes about 30 feet if you keep the turret in. So I'd consider that a very nice modification. So thanks for watching and see ya.